Morning, I'm Dr. Kimball. We're here at uh, the Surgery Center today and we're about to get started with a lumbar disc replacement. This is a procedure that we commonly do. The indication for the procedure is usually low back pain and or some type of sciatic leg pain. The disc in the back will essentially fail. Sometimes it'll herniate out and push on a nerve root. After patients have gone through months and months of non-surgical treatments, this is something that we consider to repair or replace the disc, essentially. There are other procedures like a microdiscectomy or a lumbar fusion that are on the uh, consideration list, but none of those procedures allow for the disc to be restored to its natural height and function. Um, and also this procedure, the main plus is that we don't have to fixate or fuse any of the bones which allows the patient to maintain mobility, stay active, and ultimately get back to a normal functional disc and a normal functional life. So this patient that we're gonna be operating on today, she's 39 years old. She was involved in a motor vehicle accident and, and has had chronic back pain since then. She also has some leg pain. Her disc herniation is unique in that I don't think that it is one that will be fixed well with a uh, disc fragment removal or fusion. She's way too young to have a fusion in my opinion. The fusion, as you know, is problematic for any patient because it sets them up for having the possibility of needing another surgery and we want to avoid that. This surgery should take about an hour and a half. I work with a close colleague. He's a general surgeon. We do the approach together, four surgeon hands in the, in the uh, uh, operating room, operating the whole time. Uh, We'll make a small incision on the belly, very low down below the bikini line, and uh, the incision should be maybe an inch and a half to two inches maximum. We're going to use this approach because it's really the only way that you can replace the disc in the spine. It might sound a little bit odd to operate on the spine through the stomach. What are you going to do with all the other organs and vessels and bowel, etc. that's there? Uh, there's a special approach called an extra peritoneal approach. That's a big medical word. Basically means we're gonna go around all the tissue that's there. We're never even gonna see the bowel and everything's gonna be gently pulled out of position. We'll do the procedure, remove the disc, insert uh, titanium and a high grade uh, uh, plastic uh, component to the disc, much like a knee replacement or a hip replacement. They're the same pieces, the same components. They, they're tried and true and they last a long, long time. Uh, this uh, product I expect will uh, allow us to get her disc back into the same position, the same uh, motion dynamics as her other discs in her spine. Once we're done, uh, all the organs will, will gently move back into position. We'll suture the stomach muscle back together right on the top and then close the skin. There'll be a little layer of skin glue on the surface and we'll get her up walking later today. We'll expect her to go, to, go home sometime tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so we just finished up with the surgery. Um, everything went just fine, no problems at all. We were able to get the disc out and replace it with a new artificial disc. It looks absolutely perfect. The patient is already in recovery. She's got a small incision about inch and a half on her low abdominal region, a little layer of skin glue on the top. She'll be up and walking in probably a couple hours. Uh, the next steps for her will be really just getting her used to her new disc and learning to move with her new disc. Okay, so the patient's already in recovery. She will be there for probably two to three hours and um, really just letting the anesthesia wear off. And then what we'll do is we'll get her up and let her start walking around. Um, she's gonna feel some pain in her abdominal region because that's where we operated. We went through the, the stomach muscle and pulled the tissue over to get access to the spine. Her back will be a little bit sore. That's not unreasonable. We've done some what I call permanent chiropractic adjustments to the spine, taking out literally the entire disc and replace it with an artificial disc. And her body's gonna have to get used to that. Her nerves are gonna have to get used to that. On occasion, patients will feel a bit of aching and pain down in the lower extremities. Sometimes that can last for a couple weeks, even for a month. But as the body recovers and gets used to being back into a normal uh, state as far as the disc and disc functioning goes, then the body generally heals quite well. 
Uh, my experience is these patients that have disc replacement, uh, uh, they're able to get back to activity and um, really try to get on with their life without having any further surgery down the road. And that's a big plus with disc replacement.